The City of Barrie's Wastewater Operations Branch operates and maintains a wastewater collection system with over 500 kilometers of sanitary sewers, seven major pumping stations, and a wastewater treatment facility located on Bradford Street. In 2022, over 17 billion liters of wastewater was collected and treated at the facility. Here at Wastewater Operations, we take human waste and turn it into three useful products. One, treated effluent to make clean water that can go back into Lake Simcoe. Two, fertilizers for farmers' fields. And three, energy in the form of a gas that can be converted into heat and electricity. How does this happen? Anything that goes down a toilet, sink, or drain in your home or business in Barrie is collected and properly treated. This material travels through our sanitary sewers and arrives at the treatment facility. Treating wastewater is a series of physical, chemical, and biological processes that remove contaminants, pollutants, and other undesirable material before returning the water to Kempenfelt Bay. We monitor the systems and processes 24-7 to ensure that the collection system and treatment facility are operated and maintained safely and efficiently. Here's the process. Once the wastewater arrives at the treatment facility, it goes through a series of screens and grit tanks where undesirable materials such as garbage and gravel are removed and sent to landfill. This is often where we have issues with things that should not go down a toilet or sink, such as baby wipes, dental floss, or diapers. Next, the wastewater goes through large tanks called primary clarifiers, which slows down the water and allows the heavy solids to settle out and be removed. Now, our bugs get to work in the aeration tanks. The bugs are actually microscopic organisms and bacteria that use biological processes to break down the wastewater and remove nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus that can be harmful to Lake Simcoe, but can be reused as fertilizer. Oxygen is added to keep the bugs happy and help stabilize the wastewater. The bugs then settle out in another set of tanks called secondary clarifiers, and most of them are sent back to the start of the aeration tanks to treat more wastewater. The wastewater is then pumped to the rotating biological contactors. This is another biological process that removes any nitrogen that's still in the wastewater. The wastewater then passes through sand filters, which remove any remaining small particles. Finally, the clear effluent water flows through a series of UV lights for disinfection and then out into Kempenfelt Bay. What happens to all of the solids that were removed? The solids that settle out in the primary clarifiers and any excess bugs are collected and transported to digester tanks. In the digesters, additional bacteria, similar to the bacteria in our own stomachs, stabilize the solids and convert them to biosolids, which can then be applied to farmers' fields as a fertilizer. The process of creating biosolids also produces a biogas that's captured and converted into electricity and heat, which are both reused within the treatment facility to offset electricity and heating costs. Using various waste, biogas is generated, which is then turned into electricity. That provides about 30% of the electricity we use here at the wastewater treatment facility. The city maintains high standards in wastewater treatment to ensure that Lake Simcoe remains clean and healthy. An in-house lab quickly tests and provides data so that all processes are constantly monitored to make sure provincial and federal standards are being maintained at all times. Because of the work of staff and the systems and processes in place, Barry consistently produces some of the cleanest effluent water in the country. At the Wastewater Operations Branch, we work every day to ensure that waste is safely removed from Barry homes and businesses, and that we continue to have a safe and healthy waterfront for all to enjoy.